how to open up uh, Anime Studio Pro here. So I click on this, and you get Anime Studio Pro version 9 though, and the, the, the start page here. And I have some major problems to close this content library windows if I do my system crash. So I just drag that to the side and let it be opened. When you enter Anime Studio, you get this uh, default project that I always uh, throw away. And uh, you can do that by going to File and uh, Create New here. And then your old uh, uh, stuff will be removed. Like that, but you can also do this as a setting so you don't have to have this every time you open up uh, Anime. So, preferences under Anime Studio Pro, and then you go to this startup file and choose last saved document instead. Then you can continue to work on the document you last saved much more easy. Some introductional stuff to this program um, can be quite complicated, but if you stand on the frame zero, you are not really in the timeline, and in the frame zero, you can you have access to some tools here that you don't have if you stand somewhere inside the timeline. So let's say I stand on on the frame twenty four. That's uh, probably one second into the animation. If I have twenty four frames a second in my animation, if I stand here, I don't have the same tools. I cannot draw objects here, uh, vectors. Uh, but if I stand on the zero frame here, I have other tools I can then draw. So I thought I should draw some circle, which is a common figure to have in your animations. And if you have this auto fill and auto stroke um, activated, then you will get the settings that is to the right here, the style. If you don't have the style, you can take it, uh, get it from the Windows menu and the style. You can probably check that and you'll probably get it. I have it here so I don't bother with that. So I get white uh, object. I can change the color by double clicking the color. Let's say I want the, a, a light blue instead. Like that. And I can change the width of the line. If I want a thick line or, or a thin line. So let's draw a circle here and it will become automatically filled in. If I want to see how my animation will look, I can do a render of a, a picture, not a whole complete animation movie, but a certain picture. Then I hold command and press R as in render, and I get a preview of what this look, will look like. It's a, a circle. Let's now say that we want to have a hole in our object here. It could be quite tricky to, to get to, but it could be very useful if you want to make like uh, eyes or something on your figure. So I will discard this. I will mark it up here. It would be red in this point. And then I can just delete it by pressing back space. So I will now do a new figure uh, that will have holes in it. And I cannot have auto stroke then or auto fill. And I draw this up, and as you see, it will not fill up magically. And uh, I can now draw another circle, or another and another circle, or I can uh, copy this first circle by using the select tool, Command C and Command V, V, and when I then I can move this because it gets on the top of the other object there. So now I have uh, an object which is like two eyes and a head. And what I have to do now is to mark this. So I check this uh, fill tool here. That's it, create shape. And I click on my shape, but I cannot click inside it. I have to click on the vertices, on the vectors. And now my is completely marked out. Uh, then I have to remove these areas, and then I do by holding down the shift key and pressing the vertices and the not the vertices, the vector. <laughs> and I continue to hold down shift here and click the other vector. And then I see the the red area here is the area that I want to have as my figure. So I then choose. Uh, 
the button here, here create shape and then it will create a shape uh, by the settings to go around here to create shape and I have now a figure that is uh, has holes here I can render this and as I said this is the figure with holes now I want to maybe figure out how I can make some kind of pupil or something on the back of this and for that I need another layer so I go over here create a new layer and because I am the first the zero frame I can create a new vector layer I can draw a circle and then this time I, I would like it to be white because the eye whites are white of course it can be out of fill and out of stroke and I drag it on top of that now it's on top so I have to move it down in this stack here with my layers and uh, now it became blue uh, it was a mistake by my part and this I can change by selecting this part and change the color to white yeah, like that so you can correct if you choose to select the object that you have painted afterwards so now we have some kind of figure here let's render it it has white here it is this kind of gray background and it's blue wouldn't it be nice to let the eyelids close then we have to select the layer where we painted the kind of face of the eyes uh, we can select these vertices and usually what you do here I would say would be to create an action. So I go to the view in like the Windows window and get the actions tablet. And here we have the main line that's what's shown here. If we generate an action, new action, we have to name it, let's say open eye. Okay. Um, then it will move the cursor to the first frame and we can do our animation now we don't really want it to do anything we just want to have an action that opens the eyes and not to close them so we do it this way so I mark this then it gets uh, recorded down here I mark this one I mark this one I mark this one this and this and this and this and you can of course do the animation also in this timeline down there when it closes and opens but then you really cannot control the, the pace of the opening and the closing which could be nice so this is the open eye we just want these vertices to be in these positions and uh, what we can do now is create a new uh, action and this could be close uh, I don't know if it spells like that, but I'm Swedish as you might hear. So, okay, close. Uh, and uh, I can animate the, the closure of the eyes. So let's move this point down here. And move this po point up. Move this up point here down. And move this point up. And you say, no, the eyelid doesn't really close here, it must be some kind of mistakes. But you can change the curvature of the uh, vectors here. So you, I click on this left point and I use the to to control this. Uh, let's see now. Isn't it active? It's very strange, I say, yeah. Hmm. I think it's like that. Maybe it's that good. Shift. Why isn't it that good? Select group. I want like that. It's not normally that tool I use. Okay. Strange. Can't explain it. Usually you just grab a tool and you drag instead in the in the in the picture but let's use this i want it to be pointy instead of bold so if it's pointy it would be more close like that yeah 
So now we have a closed uh, eye section, we have an open eye section. Let's go to the main menu and the main timeline and do some animation. Now. Let's say that the eye should be closed on frame where I'm positioned right now. Then we can mark the close eye and take the right button here, insert reference. Then that will be a close date. We can then open eye, insert that. And then you might want the eyes to be open for a while and static. So you choose uh, open eye again. There. And then maybe it blinks very fast. Then you can close eye. And then open his eye very fast. Open eye. And it's not doing that. And now I see here that my eyes are not exactly round. I should have done this on the open uh, uh, eye action. I should have done them uh, round. Now this uh, pointy stuff uh, is connected here to the last action. So but anyway I will get it in the future that's important if anyone else wants to see this they are welcome but I mainly do this for my own sake so I will remember this in the future you can change here the timeline goes from 1 to 48 and uh, that will make this shorter when you sort of uh, try your animation out here. so I click the play button and it will loop between frame 1 and 48 and I can see that I click closest and the close uh, speed is actually different here I have a smooth close closing when it's sort of slow and I have a really rapid fast one so that's the sort of main stuff I think 